caught on to the shred probably when I was like 12 or 13 and took me to skate parks and mountains so I could get my shred on. I'm really thankful for uh, the shred and the gnar as part of every single moment of my life. The gnar has been my main focus the past couple years and I've just been putting a lot of my energy into it. And I've been pretty stoked with the outcome, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, the stuff we did today, the stuff we're gonna do tomorrow, it's just, you know, it's stemming from in here, of all of us. And you know, that's really what matters. It's from the heart, baby. Because it's about the gnar, it's about the stoke, it's about the pow pow, straight up. That's all I'm gonna say. How would I describe the gnar? Well, I think it's pretty indescribable. I mean, um, for me, it's just about getting out there, uh, Braving the elements, uh, facing Mother Nature. You gotta respect Mother Nature or else uh, she won't respect you. Skin the agar for years back, I found myself caught in a nor'easter. I realized that a lot of people say straight in the nars, the way of life. It's because a lot of people are dicks. You know, Chris is from Maine, he's a wild man. I once saw him scalp a live bear. It was actually pretty messed up. I mean, a lot of times people ask me um, if shredding is my life, do I love to shred? And I say that's an understatement. Shredding the gnar is more than that. It's about skiing. It's a way of life. I just want four walls and another be set for my girl. Yes. Nice. <laughs> I can't go anymore. <laughs>